I'm gonna be on. Is it okay if I'm hot just for one second, real quick? The enemy has been trying to convince me for two and a half weeks to vacate my spot and believe the lies of people who don't know me. I, can I be honest, y'all? Can, can, can we humble, open, and transparent? I've had people tell me that I was a false prophet. I've had people tell me that I served the devil. I've had people tell me that I'm not fit to be a father. <laughs> I've had people who prophesied over me, rebuke me publicly and never text me. Never call me, never pull up. When their ministry needed help, we were there. But when stepping on me in this church could give them some views, they took the opportunity to gain three more followers. I can't be this real. Somebody's gonna cut this up too and make it say something that it didn't say. I, I, I just wanna let you know that we serve a God who is a keeper. That scripture that says he will keep your mind in perfect peace. Uh, if you would stay. Now, I'm going to just stop this here because Mike Todd is playing victim, clearly playing the victim card. And he wants people to feel sorry for his behavior. That's what many of these leaders do when they don't want to be held accountable. What they will do is they will flip it and act like they are taking the persecution for Jesus. When God is really trying to get them to repent before it's too late. And because of a lack of accountability, one of the co-pastors, Tim Ross, compares Jesus to a stripper. Yes, I said it, a stripper. You know, you know what the enemy did to a generation that didn't know what to do with their bread? He made them make it rain. But you know that the enemy's a counterfeit, right? He ain't the first one to make it rain. Literally, he's not the first one to make it rain. I could take you to Genesis to prove to you who the first person was that made it rain. But scripture said that manna came from heaven and it was bread to them. We don't make it rain on booty cheeks. We don't make it rain on strippers. We only reverence one stripper. And that's the one that took off glory. To put on humanity. And then get butt naked on a cross. To die for both you and me. The only stripper I'm in love with is Jesus. And he's the one that puts that bread in my pocket. That bread in my pocket. Now, I'm not going to act surprised by this because I know in 2 Timothy chapter 4, it's clear. It says that the time will come when people won't endure sound doctrine, but will have itching ears and they will gather teachers in accordance to their own lust. So Mike Todd is not to be blamed for any of this. If we want to put the blame on anyone we should look right at the members they are the ones paying for this they are the ones that want their ears tickled and the only thing that we can do at this point is continue to pray that many will be delivered from this deception because that's what it is it's deception but please believe those that truly want god they will seek him wholeheartedly and they will see the truth they will see it for what it is